This is Susan Bradley for CSO Online. Today I'm going to talk about the top routinely exploited vulnerabilities. And I'm going to focus in on one particular area that just caught my eye and I was a little bit surprised about. The National Cybersecurity Awareness System released this document that talked about the top most exploited vulnerabilities between 2016 and 2019. In 2020, they talked about cyber actors were targeting VPN applications on Office 365 and various other cybersecurity weaknesses. But I was most interested in one in particular back here in 2019 that I was a little bit shocked at, to be honest with you. And it has to do with that one right there. As of December of 2019, it said, Chinese cyber actors were exploiting a 2012 era vulnerability. Can you imagine 2012? I was very surprised about that, and I want to dig into it a little bit deeper. So CVE 2012-0158 is Bulletin MS-12-027, a very old 2012-era patch for Office 2010. This vulnerability specifically attacks Office 2003, 2007, and 2010. Clearly in enterprises, we still use these older Office versions and we're not scanning email attachments to ensure they're not malicious. So let's dig into a little bit more of why this is so successful in getting into our enterprises. In a 2016 Sophos white paper, it discusses some of the reasons why it's so pervasive. It primarily comes out in Word and Excel, and these are files that we send amongst ourselves in business. We expect them. It utilizes something called Microsoft Windows Common Control Library. This dynamic linked library contains common controls such as combo box, progress bar, amongst others. So this particular vulnerability goes after list view and tree view ActiveX controls. It's something that we've been using in VBA applications. This vulnerability allows the attacker to take entire control of the system. So it's game over type of attack. They want to get in. Then the attackers found one better way to hide, in rich text file format. And they found that they could pivot quite easily and evade antivirus detection. And unfortunately, they also found out that Word is far from stringent from enforcing certain formations and tampered with this RTF file format incessantly in order to confuse antivirus. So they found a way to wiggle in, change their the way they look to antivirus vendors, and become a direct attack against us. Another issue that this patch has is a long-standing problem we have in the patch management community. We often go around a patch that's causing issues and never go back and revisit this. I remember this patch. It was hard to go and install it, and it also had some side effects that you had to deal with. If you had any third-party application that used a Visual Basic application that relied upon it, you had to go and get rid of certain EXD files in order to get it to work. So you had to go into certain locations, documents and settings, where the username was, application data, Microsoft Forms, and also an app data local temp VBE, and find these little EXD file extensions and delete them so that the application would recompile it. It was a pain. I remember this. And as a result, many businesses went around this update and never again revisited this. I sometimes see reports on this out on the patchmanagement.org listserv, where somebody says, hey, I've not installed this patch because it causes this issue. And they never, ever go back and revisit that issue. Do you know for certain that patches that you skipped over back in 2012 still have the same issues today? They probably do not. So it's time to go back review your network, make sure that you've applied everything, especially to Office 2010, and revisit these older patches that you've skipped over. This is actually one of the reasons that Office 2016 and the later versions of Office have what's called a click-to-run platform, meaning it's an all-or-nothing patching platform. No longer can you skip over an offending update, you have to deal with it. So if you want to install the April release of click to run and you have issues, it's an all or nothing. You can't go around an offending patch. 
As an aside, Microsoft has recently introduced more changes to the Click to Run patching platform that will be coming out in June. I'll be covering these in an upcoming CSO Online presentation. Bottom line in 2020, if you still have Office 2010 deployed in your organization, re-review your installation base to ensure that you haven't skipped over any updates. It's time to go back and re-review. Especially now with budget tightening, if you aren't planning to invest in new systems and new software, review how to best defend yourself on what you have. If you still have side effects with certain updates, review the guidance out here from Microsoft. Check to see known issues with Outlook, Office, Word, you name it. Use Process Monitor, download it from the SysInternal site, and review how your Office installation is interacting with a third-party application. See if you can determine what the issue is, go back to your vendors, and get to the bottom of the problems. And of course, right now, add end-user education. Never open a file unless you're expecting it. Instruct people on these older versions of Office, even in 2010, they still have what's called the Mark of the Web sign up here, where it says protected view, this file originated from an internet location and might be unsafe. Warn people not to enable editing until they're certain they know where that file came from. Stop, think, check. They can call their coworker and say, hey, did you send me that file? Don't immediately open that file, stop and think. Empower people to be careful and wary, especially at this time. Bottom line, in late 2019, early 2020, where we are right now, a vintage 2012-era Office patch that impacts Office 2010 should not be what the attackers are using to attack us. We need to up our defenses even without upgrading to a new version of software. It's time to better protect what we already have. As always, don't forget to check out the latest news on IDG Tech Talk News Channel. Until next time, Stay safe and get patched even on earlier and older platforms.